Hi, my name is Kenneth Berger and I made this video to help folks understand how stacking insurance policies works under South Carolina law. So what does it mean to stack insurance policies? Think about it this way. <clears throat> However many cars you have at home or your family has at home, those cars have insurance policies. And if those cars have uninsured motorist coverage or they have underinsured motorist coverage, then you can actually reach back in certain situations and stack the amount of underinsured motorist coverage on each of those vehicles at home or stack each uninsured motorist policy that you have at home, again, either one of your vehicles or a family member's vehicles, and you can stack the total amount of insurance between all of them. So let's, let's go with an easy example. Let's say someone has $100,000 in medical bills, okay? And the person who caused the wreck only has state minimum limits, which in South Carolina is $25,000. The person who hits you again has $25,000. You've got $100,000 in insurance. What you're able to do is then stack your underinsured policies based on how much underinsured coverage you have on each vehicle and how many vehicles you have in total. So let's say you had three cars between you and the family members who live with you at home and each of those cars had $25,000 in underinsured coverage. Then you take the $25,000 in underinsured coverage on the vehicle you were in and the $25,000 in underinsured on the two at-home vehicles for a total of $75,000 plus the $25,000 the at-fault driver had for a total of $100,000. And again, that would help cover your medical bills in a situation where there's a bad wreck. And again, that's an extra $75,000 that you can recover by stacking. Now, you've got to know that before you can stack your uninsured, and that's when someone who doesn't have insurance hits you, or you're underinsured, and that's where someone hits you, and they've got insurance but not enough. Before you can start stacking those policies, you first have to use up all of the available liability coverage. So again, if the person who hits you, let's say they have 500,000 or a million dollars in liability coverage, if the value of your case isn't more than 500,000 or a million dollars, you won't have to worry about stacking because there'd be plenty of liability coverage. Regrettably, a lot of times the drivers in South Carolina who cause the worst wrecks usually have the least amount of insurance or no insurance at all, and that's why stacking can be so important. Now, there's a lot of, of nuance and, and some complexity when it comes to stacking. We could make an entire, probably 45 minute video on this thing. Heck, there are seminars that lawyers go to to understand stacking. Uh, what you need to know is we've been handling issues with stacking for a long time now. All the different nuances, all the different laws that apply to help us understand and, and help explain to you the maximum amount that can be recovered from at-home policies is something we've done with a heck of a lot of clients and we're glad to walk you through it as well. As I tell people all the time, you might not even need a lawyer. If it's a situation where, again, the injuries are really bad and the insurance companies are obviously going to pay you the policy limits, you may not need a lawyer, but it does help to at least consult with an attorney to understand how much insurance coverage is available to you and to make sure that your result is full and fair. If you have any other questions, you can reach us right here on the website through a live chat feature or the contact form. You can also call us for a free consultation. Uh, we've helped a lot of people in situations like this who've got stacking questions, and we'd, of course, be glad to answer your questions and help you as well.